the Avengers are failing to assemble for the PS5 Max. Writing on the Square Enix blog, the developer, which is of Square Enix, have said the following: We've met, we've also made the decision. Apparently, well, I guess there was another decision we missed uh, to shift our PS5 and Xbox Series X slash S launch to next year to ensure that we give our team the time to deliver a next gen experience, showcasing all that this game is meant to be. Oof. With more details to come. The first post-launch content drop centered around Kate Bishop has also been pushed out of this month to a later date. Crystal Dynamics promises that Marvel's Avengers will, will still look and run better via backwards compatibility on PS5 with faster load times and improved frame rates. You'll also still be able to play with your friends on PS4. Have you yeah. gone back to this game recently? No. I went back to it about a week and a half ago. I was trying to play some online co-op and uh, I just, no one could join me. I couldn't join anyone. It was a hot mess and I gave up after about 30 minutes of troubleshooting. There is, the, what was it last week? There was like a thousand people concurrent on Steam. Yeah. They're bad. Yeah. See, the issue here, it's the same issue that comes with every fucking games as a service game, right? where the idea was rather than releasing a game that works, every statement, you think about every statement with Anthem uh, as, as probably the, the nearest example, uh, Fallout 76, the, 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 for, the response is, we're sorry, we'll fix it. Not, not because they, un, not because they, they uh, you know, there's actual problems. It's because they under-delivered and they released a shitty game. And the same thing's been done here. They'd be like, look, we understand the game's broken. We're fixing it. We're sorry. That's not the conversation you should be having. The conversation you should be having is very similar to like what you get from Fall Guys. And they're like, hey, we're really sorry that our game's not working for everyone because it's so popular the servers are not keeping up that is the conversation you should be having not the game is fucked we're sorry that you're disappointed well i think apart from the technical issues that this game is having the other issue that all these games run into is they say here's we're, we're not going to put the end game content in at launch it will be added after and they take too long to put in yeah. their end game content they they fail again and again to realize how quickly gamers get to end game content in games like these because that's realistically when the game really starts in for a lot of these that's games when it should games. start but what we're and, seeing is we're seeing this trend where they're failing to do so it's almost like, like they 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 sit there and they tout these 10 year plans these decade long plans but you can tell they clearly had no goal outside of the mm. outside of launch because if they did end game would be in there and there would be like not road mapping shit and then constantly moving these barriers they would have it lined up they'd have it ready to go or they would just fucking give it to you. Like the, di the difficulty here is that rather than be like you know they are now forcing a push on that uh, that content in order to correct the game that they that they rushed out or that mm. they made blandly on purpose because it once again similar to anthem now this quote comes directly from jim sterling so don't think it was it was mine it's they're using developers that don't make these style of games shoddily throwing together these sort of games like Square Enix, don't make games as a service. Uh, fucking Bioware, don't make games as a service. Therefore, the game they release is bland and by the numbers because they're not willing to push the boundaries because they don't know how. Mm. So that happens here. They didn't push the boundaries on what Avengers could be. You're not fighting villains. You're fighting fucking robots and shit. That is boring. Marvel has such an extensive and huge massive beautiful list of fucking villains that you can run with and instead you're fighting aim bots well see to play devil's advocate i wonder how lenient uh marvel have been with what uh licensed characters they can use in this game like do they actually have access to all the villains because if they do, then yeah, they should be in there. But if they don't, you know, they have to work with what they've been But given. as it's not been disclosed, and <laughs> from the track record of this title, it's very confident to think that they oh, no, just I'm, aren't doing it. 
Oh no, I completely agree with you. I it would just be it it would just be an interesting piece of information to have. Yeah. So what was your point before I really ranted through it? Oh, um, the o- I was gonna, I was just going to point out that Destiny has learned from their mistakes with this as a games of service. They now, when they launch their content, they launch their raid generally either same day or now three days later instead of like a week to two weeks because they've realized that their players will be like, well, we want to be ready and we're going to make sure we're ready and they'll be ready within two days to get to get in there. Once again, so the big difference here is Destiny, they have been doing the, it for years. They've doing yeah. it for years, but they've learnt. Like Bungie, mm. when they started, didn't make these games. So they they had a lot of teething problems, especially with Activision forcing these, uh, you know, series of updates on them, right? So now yeah. that they're free and they've been doing it for four years oh shit like five years six years yeah, something five, like that years, yeah. like they they've done the run they know what their player base wants they know how to work within this space granted they fucked up something fierce early on but they've since been in a place to correct it yeah and it's it's a shame that it, it, it seems like other developers don't look at other things that are uh, other similar you know games of service games and don't learn from their mistakes but as well. this is also They're the kind of just this is the bigger problem about the games point. industry. Yeah, as you said, like they're following the the trend. Yeah. So what happened four years ago? Say, Square, you know, Marvel went, or Square Enix were like, we want to do a games of service because this is where the money is, what everyone's doing. Forgetting the fact that in four years from now, the, a lot of games would have been weirded out, and only the big boys remain. So, yeah. but so because they're in development for four years, they can't really start. If they they can't just up and change shit as they go, because this the 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 landscape, the climate is constantly changing. And like, I wonder what the I wonder what the relationship is between Crystal, the Crystal Dynamic, being the developers and Square Enix were publishing the game because Square Enix themselves do, I would argue, make games of a service because they have an online MMORPG running mm. that has been running for years. And it started off so shit, they literally rebuilt the frigging game. Yeah. So they know what makes a they good online service game. They have one example, game. though. I mean, they've, they've, they've made two online service games, uh, Final Fantasy XI and XIV. Fair, fair. And then fourteen got completely remade as a Realm Reborn. So I would argue they have a little bit of knowledge and I wonder if they actually shared any of that information with Crystal Dynamics or if Crystal Dynamics have been left to swim in the deep end and just see how well they can tread water. Well, for them, they're just a publisher in this circumstance with Square Enix yeah. is the dev. Now, granted, like True. Square Enix and... and, and uh, 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 fuck, what are they called? Crystal Dynamics like have a Crystal working relationship. They've been working together for a long window of time. So you would presume that communication would be there. But it, de- it depends. Like, A, when you've got the likes of Disney and Marvel on their back, you don't know how hard that they're, mm. they've been putting on there or you know, what they can and cannot do. So benefit of the doubt. But like I said, I'm more confident that it's just the, they just delivered a subpar game because they didn't know how to do it correctly. Yeah. Which, which is a sad. Which is a, it's a bummer. And then right now, the people that want to play this game are left short. No one's going to give a fuck come next gen because no one gives a fuck now. Yeah. So this alleged 10-year plan is going to be done within six months. This game came out in what September? Yeah, it's it's they they've just celebrated their f- like one month anniversary or whatever, and no one's playing weird, it. Yeah. yeah, that's a horrible thought. 